All right, here's your Revit tutorial for uh, putting your electrical plan together. Now, this one's a little bit trickier. You have to, a uh, few kind of steps in here, but um, we'll kind of get started with it right off the bat with putting in some uh, receptacles, so kind of where you would plug electrical things in, as well as putting switches in. Okay, so this is kind of the relatively easy part. The first thing we'll do is uh, I'm on my floor plan view, and you know what? I personally like to create new views uh, for different things, so I'll create this as my... I'll rename this my uh, electrical plan. Okay, so um, <clears throat> okay, so when that came up, sorry, when I went to rename, I can rename it here. So I'll recall that rename that electrical. Okay, so when I'm in this view, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start first off with components, and uh, I already have them fixed here. But if you needed to, you'd have to come up here to load family. And then when load family comes up, you get this popping up, and you go over here to electrical and architectural and uh, electrical power is where you want to be. And for the most part, we'll stick with terminals. Okay, so here I would personally select um, the outlet duplex. If you hold down control, you can load up a few different things. You want your GFI, the ground fault interrupter, <coughs> that's for uh, kitchens, bathrooms, things like that, anything around water, exterior outlets. Uh, and then we also would like to have, I'll have a single outlet for a few options. You might want the range, for example, uh, switches. There's a dimmer switch here, double switch, and a single switch. All right, I'll go ahead and hit open. Some of them already had there in there, so that's fine. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so once that's loaded up, I'm going to be able to find some of these things I just clicked on. So, for example, if I want some dimmer switches, if I want a double switch, so that'd be two switches I can click to. Um, a single switch. Okay, I'll keep it simple right now. We'll do single switches. All right, so when you first walk in, you're going to want to have a switch. I'll put it on the side where you would open to. Uh, same with the bathroom door, right? And <clears throat> obviously, I'd probably have other rooms here so um, that I didn't put in yet. So I'm just going to put a few switches around uh, just for the example here. Okay, besides that, I also want to include some of my uh, outlets and so I'm going to come back over here to outlets um, we'll do some GFI ones first remember anytime there's a sink I want to have a GFI outlet okay so I'll put one over there um, my kitchen might be over here so I'll put a couple of those over here just for example okay and then uh, let's also grab a couple of these um, outlets that are the duplex ones okay so just for that, we'll put one there, one there, okay, just around the rooms, wherever you'd expect to be able to plug something in. Okay, so I'll just leave that for now. That's just to show you guys an ex as an example. Remember, you want to follow the electrical codes that, so that you have the proper number of switches for where you need to be. Okay, now after that, uh, we also want to start putting in some lights. Okay, so to put in lights, uh, this one's a little bit trickier. I'm going to go over to my ceiling plan here, so under floor, and then there's an option here for ceiling. Okay, so you notice here the ceiling, you want the offset to be about 8 feet. 8 foot ceilings is a proper, uh, if you want, you can make it a little taller, 9 or 10 feet, but for an affordable house, uh, 8 foot ceiling height is proper. Um, I think it starts off with generic. I would go to the gypsum uh, wallboard here so that you actually have that's kind of the typical drywall that you'd see on ceilings. Okay, so when you go to automatic ceiling, it might not necessarily do anything. I'll go ahead and go to sketch ceiling, and I'm going to use the walls. So I'm going to go to pick walls. That's this button right there. And then I can select this wall, this wall, this wall, and this wall. And you can see it kind of created that shape for me. I'll hit the check mark, and now I should have a ceiling. Um, so if I go to, let's go to my 3D view so I can take a peek. Uh, I had my roof removed here just to show you guys, and I can see that my ceiling's in there now. Okay, so I need to have a ceiling in order to put lights in. And so now my next step might be to go back over to, uh, let's go to my roofing view here, and I believe I can get it from this spot. I can see my ceiling showing up there. So now when I go over to architecture and place component, Okay, I want to get some lights. So load family. Again, this should pop up here. And then I'm going over to my lighting. And architectural again, internal. And uh, I've been using these ceiling light, the flat round ones. Uh, if you want to play around with some of these other ones, I have had some trouble getting the recessed ones to work well. 
uh, but all the other ones should work pretty well. So to keep things simple, I'm going to do the, the ceiling light, the flat round ones. Okay, hit open. And at this point, I want to, as long as I can get access to my ceiling, which, oops, that's not what I have selected. Uh, I want to go to ceiling light flat round. Uh, let's do the 120 volts, uh, 100 watts. Okay, so now that I'm here in my ceiling view, I'm going to place a couple. So uh, obviously I want one in the bathroom. Um, I probably want a couple over here. This would be where my kitchen is. So I'll put a couple in the kitchen. And then uh, presumably this would be kind of the living room. So I can place a couple there. Um, okay, this might be a bedroom over here, another bedroom over here. All right, you get the idea. Okay, so you place however many lights you want in your, um, I'll put one in the foyer. All right, so once you have all your lights, I'll hit escape to get out of that. And I've got my lights placed. <clears throat> okay, so finally, um, I'm going to come back over here to floor plan view. Okay, so when I'm in my floor plan view, I can see that I have all my lights showing up there. I've got my switches. And like I said before, I'm going to annotate this in a second. So I'm going to right click, duplicate view. And I want this to be my electrical floor plan, or my electrical plan, sorry. All right, so I'm going to rename this one electrical also. Okay, if your lights aren't showing up here or if you're not seeing your outlets, what you probably need to do is change the view range. Okay, so I'll hit edit here. And uh, the, way, the way I have this mine set up is the top is still going to be the roof, uh, but the cut plane, this is kind of where you'll out, be able to view in addition. I set that to four feet. Now, the reason why four feet is because if I notice where my outlets are, right, so I select one of my outlets here, I notice that the elevation of it, it's about four feet above the ground. Okay, and that's pretty standard. Remember, universal design, you want people to be able to reach that outlet in any direction. Uh, so the four foot mark is four feet from the ceiling, and that's what allows me to see these as well as my lights. All right, uh, if you have some trouble getting the view range to work, then uh, I can help you with that kind of individually. Okay, the final thing I'm going to want to do is to annotate this. Uh, so I'm going to go over to annotate. The first thing I might want to do is set up some of, oh, let me save my project real quick, uh, set up some of the dimensions showing that I have the outlets. Uh, remember, for example, in the kitchen, you want your outlets to be at least every two feet um, on the counters. And so I would be able to grab my dimension. Let me zoom in a little bit here. So I might say from here to here is uh, three feet right now. So I might actually need to put some of those a little bit closer, but as long as they're uh, two feet, actually four feet is about right. So I have two feet within a two foot gap, right? So um, I've got that. So I would show that for all these different locations. Okay, so that's kind of the idea there. And the other annotation that's really important is showing that your switches are actually going to the different lights. Okay, so for example, I'm going to come back over here under annotate, and there is an option to draw detail lines. Okay, now detail lines, um, the line style, uh, we're going to use as hidden lines. Okay, so we're going to show that the switch connects there. It's kind of how the wires would actually run from the switch to these different lights. Okay, so hidden lines means it's a dash line, and I'm going to use this um, spline tool. Okay, so what spline will let me do is kind of just click around so that it creates a curve. Okay, so I'm going to start from the switch. I'm going to kind of click a couple times to show that it goes here. And then again, I'm going to make it sure that it kind of clicks over there. Okay, I'm going to hit escape and it'll kind of show that outline. And actually, you might want to do uh, one line per switch. Right, so I'm going to do another one here. So here, I'll show that this connects there. Hit escape. And then I also want to show that this one is going to connect over there. Hit escape to start a new line. Okay, this, uh, oops, annotate, where'd my line go? Detail line, hit in lines, okay, and go back to spline. And let's do another one here. So here, 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 hit escape. That's showing that line. And then I might have another switch coming over here. Okay, so hopefully you're getting the hang of it at this point. Again, I can always help you if you're 
running into some issues, but we're just showing uh, the general electrical plan. Um, I guess the one other thing I might mention here at this point is if you wanted to include, uh, I'll go, go ahead and place this. I'm going to go back over to my electrical floor plan. <clears throat> if you wanted to include things like your circuit breakers, um, that's also under components. I'll go to place component, uh, load family, and then I'm going to come over to electrical architectural again, electrical power, the distribution, this would be elec your electrical panel, so you can open that one as well. Uh, usually that would be kind of in the garage or maybe kind of a, some sort of mechanical room, uh, so you can also show that. All right, that should get you a pretty good uh, start on the electrical plans uh, from there.